the really hard truth here is no one can promise that someone dangerous still might not slip through. And while that risk should not be denied, it also should not be wildly inflated. Let me ask this. If, if you bought a five-pound bag of peanuts uh, and you knew that in the five-pound bag of right. peanuts there were about ten peanuts that were deadly poisonous, would you feed them to your kids? The answer yeah. is no. Yeah. Of, of course it's no. For a start, you should give your kids an actual meal, not a handful of peanuts, <laughs> because they're human children, not circus elephants. But, but second, we wanted to do the math on what he just said, so we bought five pounds of peanuts, and we counted them. There are about a thousand nuts in there. So if ten of them are poisoned, Mike Huckabee is essentially suggesting that about one of every 100 refugees is a terrorist. But in reality, of the more than 784,000 refugees admitted to the US since 9-11, only three have been arrested for planning terrorist activities, none of which, by the way, resulted in attacks here. So the actual known ratio of arrested terror suspects to refugees is not one in a hundred, it's one in roughly 261,000. Peanuts themselves have killed far more people in the last decade <laughs> than terrorist refugees. Oh, I'll, go, I'll go one step further. Men named Mike have killed more people <laughs> than terrorist refugees, and I don't see us rounding all of them up. And that's kind of the point. Because as reasonable adults, we accept tiny amounts of risk baked into our everyday lives. We drive cars, despite knowing around 30,000 of us die in them each year. We go swimming, despite the fact 10 people a day die from, die from drowning. 20 Americans every year are killed by cows. But no one is saying we should expel all cows from the country. We're happy just taking them out one at a time, thinking, well, we got them before they got us.